What are three estate planning basics that you should know? Stick around to find out. Hi, I'm Gary DeWitt from the DeWitt Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, and we do them well. If you have questions about this or anything else, you can set up a time to talk to me for free over the phone or in person by going to planwithgary.com. You need to take a semi-detailed inventory of everything you own and everything you owe. It's semi-detailed because you're not going to list every stick of furniture, just the major stuff. You need to write down what you own and what you owe and the unsecured credit as well. Not only is this important for you and for your planner, but it's also going to be important for your heirs and beneficiaries later so they know what you owe to people and where your stuff is at. Of course, you need to list all your family members you want included or not included. It is especially important that you list out all the children you don't want included in your plan. If you don't, then they can come back and claim a piece of the property later. You need to choose who plays what roles in your plan. This includes your durable power of attorney agents, your health care power of attorney agents, your executor or final trustee, if you have minor children, who will raise them, who has access to your medical records, who can talk to and work with the doctors, and your choices for end of life. After you take the inventory and decide the roles, then it's time to actually write the plan. After drafting the plan, you'll be presented either with the entire plan or the important parts, along with a summary of names and roles. Experience shows that if presented with an entire plan, it bogs down the process because people want to read and understand every word. Much of the trust is written in legalese around IRS regulations and laws that deal with business and taxes. Once the drafts are double-checked and approved, then there will be a signing ceremony and you'll sign the documents and your plan is active. To speak with me about planning, go to planwithgary.com. If you have questions about this or anything else, you can set up a time to talk to me for free over the phone or in person by going to planwithgary.com.